Hello! Welcome to the episode of the Fan Men Podcast. I'm DJ Gove. Chris Davis. Sean Hogarty. How's it going? Fantastic. Good to see you Going again. Well, sir. I know I haven't seen you guys. It feels like a while. Yeah, it's been like been a couple a weeks. Minute. Has been, yeah. Well, it's because we'll, we'll talk about it in a second, but we, uh, so we're going to, um, for anyone who hasn't listened the last couple weeks, um, or, you know, followed some of the stuff we've been doing on Twitter and Facebook. So I got back last weekend mm-hmm. and you guys flew out, f- um, down to New Orleans mm-hmm. to go mm-hmm. film your scenes for Jay and Saw Bob reboot. Exactly. So production's wrapped, movie's done, and we are all hopefully in there for about a second and a half, which would be nice. Yep. I can see the back yes. of my head somewhere <laughs> on a movie screen. It'll be interesting. I I I have hope that uh, that I'll be visible in a few places, probably less than the two of you. Should be a glimpse. Yeah. Somewhere. I do think that the, the one thing I'm hoping for is there's there should be a frame that actually has Chris and I mm-hmm. in the same frame facing camera and visible, I think. There should be one shot, yeah, yeah if it stays in, yeah. yeah. But they filmed it a few times, so. Yeah. But so that, yeah, I'm still I'm still kind of recovering Actually, there might be that. a couple. There might be a couple, but the, there's, there's one the one in particular. one with you, like, yeah. back left, and yeah. then, yeah. Yeah, so, so yeah. there'll be a few. I mean, so we got some time, because the movie's going to come out, it's looking like second week in October, probably. Something like that. I think yeah. is Something what like that. You're going to have... 17th, I think, is the target mm-hmm. Friday. Um, So, when it comes time for that, Sean's going to be wearing a bright yellow t-shirt, <laughs> right? So if you see <laughs> yes. the... See the guy with the, the gray hair and the yellow t-shirt, that's Sean. And cargo shorts. And cargo shorts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> yeah, I got cargo shorts on now. <laughs> they're, they're, they're nothing wrong with cargo shorts. Um, I'll be in, I have a full blunt man costume, um, blue leather, leather which trench coat, the, which the is whole the nine. Kevin Silent Bob based character. Superhero character, yep. yeah. So I'll be kind of easy to pick up because I think I was the only Silent Bob there with the blue jacket, like, because yeah. mm-hmm. the jacket is technically blue. And Chris, you were in a, Sound. I just wore the Silent Bob hoodie and a hat. Yeah. Chris is, I'm just yeah. blending. Chris will be a little more subtle. When Chris you, doesn't play dress yeah. up. If you're looking in the crowd of hundreds of people on the in the movie and you like, look at this one guy, you know, he's kind of taller than everyone else. He just looks cooler. That's probably look Chris Davis. Look for anybody that worked for Kev and then look to the side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I may be there. Yeah, of course, the Chris Davis also usually has a sunbeam coming through the clouds even when indoors. That's true. I, yeah, I don't know so if you can actually film I'm the Chris hoping, <laughs> my hope is the scene with Will and I. Yeah. Yeah, if I, that one makes it in, that, that would could be, be funny. Fun. Yeah, that could yeah. be fun. Yeah, so so we'll yes, say. we made it back. It it was a blast. Um, a lot we can't talk about. Yeah, there's a lot we can't say. With but when we when we give our ultimate uh, review of the film, we'll be able to tell some you know tell some things yeah, after uh, the fact. That'll be really some cool. fun stories and I, tales. I'll say that it's fun to do it as a fan. I could not do that as a living. Yeah, like That'd people that just well, work I, as so. Extras. Oh yeah. No. So I know. I know we talked to at least uh, Laura Diberstein, who uh, who mm-hmm. was one of the paid extras, yep. and I think I think she was making like if they went over twelve years, if they went twelve, 12 over hours. twelve hours, it was a hundred. She got one twenty five yeah. for twelve, and then a little over. It went up yeah. to yeah, it went up to like twelve yeah. or fourteen bucks an hour. It's enough, it was enough to cover her hotel, which is yeah. right. So mm-hmm. so so it was a little sustaining, but. Brutal. Yeah. 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 yeah we did not get, schedule stuff. Yeah. We did not get paid because we were on the, uh, I guess I'm, we were on the friends and family list, right. air quotes, yeah. quote unquote. Well, we you all, two we were. I was, I was technically on the Legion M. Oh, you got on the Legion M? And okay. then the Chris Davis's bitch got me onto the tail end of the friends and you family. Were on, you were on the Chris Davis list? Yes. Yes. It's just one, one golden sheet in the, yes. on the back of the call yeah. sheet. Yeah. Between Chris Davis yeah, and, uh, to, and Nate Gonzalez. I'm happy to give you a rub whenever you need one. Little I can do. So, in general, I mean, so, how was New Orleans like? Well, I'd, I'd never been there. I'd obviously heard heard about it a lot as a big party town. I've been hearing about Mardi Gras. and Satan's asshole. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not a big partier at this point, if I ever was. So I mostly experienced Bourbon Street during the daylight. Still mm-hmm. the experience of drinking fairly competent. Lots of day drinks. Yeah. Lots and const, you know, constant drinks and walking around like grabbing, you know, Grabbing whiskey at one bar and walking down the street and going to another one while holding it and yeah, drinking. Yeah, Sean was very happy with the 
being able to walk around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was interesting. Yeah, it, it made I love the architecture. the The roller coaster of smells, though, uh, was a real yeah. right. You're literally oh, it's going. Cesspool. It's, yeah, yeah. But it's not. But it comes in waves. Like so, you'll mm-hmm. you'll be smelling something interesting, some food, some you know, some spice, and, and then, then you'll like be walking through garbage. Yeah, it's like yeah. piss. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I expected that, so it wasn't surprising. Um, lots of walking. Uh, mm-hmm. Great walk in town. I mean, it was. I came back losing weight, so yeah, it's not about. I, yeah, I think technically I did too. Uh, which is a surprise. I do. Well, I lost eight pounds just one day filming because I was in all yeah. the vinyl costume. Well, that's just... choosing vinyl, right? I mean, that's, uh, yeah, it's like wearing latex outside. That's right. Exactly, yeah. Cargo shorts and short sleeves. Yeah. No, nah, I had to go authentic. <laughs> if you had the vinyl, you wouldn't get hurt so bad. Yeah. Oh, this we'll is, get to, yeah. we'll get So we'll get, get there. Yeah. So, yes, no, it, it, was, it was definitely a, um, <laughs> Ow. It, was, it was interesting. Like, I, I didn't expect, I expected, you know, dirty Vegas, basically. And yeah. it's just like a yeah. tiny dirty, dirty Vegas. Dirty Vegas, that's good. It's dirty old Vegas. Dirty old Vegas. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And dirty yeah. Wafflin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, the food was good. I had some really good food. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, that's the first thing I do whenever I go anywhere. It's mm-hmm. food and food and drink. So the food and drink definitely lived up to the expectations. Um, if you ever go to New Orleans, you just gotta be careful. There's like oh, this this like the scam scumbags. It's just they're re- everywhere. It's ridiculous. It's we only got approached once, and somebody had prepared me for the. You know, the shoes line. Yeah, the shoes yeah. line. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so we caught it in passing and completely blew it off. It helps when you're walking next to somebody that's bigger and imposing. Yeah. Chris. <laughs> and then, and then, uh, also we were hanging out with Brian Stoner a bunch of the time. Yeah. And, and Stoner makes me look small. Yeah. yeah he's and, a tall kid. And yeah. so I always felt protected and, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Yeah. I would, um, yeah, that, that part. I didn't really dig, but it was fun. You know, it was say, you'd say you did Bourbon Street. I was, I happened to be there on St. Patrick's Day. Uh, so I, it wasn't Mardi Gras, but towards the end of the night, it got a little crazy. It's Irish Mardi Gras, right? So. Yeah, it got a little crazy towards the end of the night. There was, um, you know, you had it's the- It's called Saturday. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, come <laughs> it's on. green Mardi Gras. Yeah, yeah. you had the uh, beads getting thrown off the balconies and stuff, and you had the, uh, you know, the shirts coming off and all that. I did come home with a bag full of beads, mostly courtesy of Laura. Not, uh, not many came from me exposing my own chest, unfortunately, but- Just or a fortunately. Not for a lack of trying. Yeah. <laughs> People take beads away from when he did it. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't deserve those. No, no, give me those back. Uh, yeah. Those Bastard. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so, I mean, I tried to do, like, some touristy stuff. I didn't, it was tough, because, so, I had one of my, my buddy Dan came with me, because I was going down, I was like, well, you know what, I was like, hey, you doing anything next week? No, do you want to go to New Orleans? I got a good price on a hotel room, we'll split it. He's like, fuck yeah, let's go. So, he went and drank and stuff like that during the day, and, and like, scouted for food places, basically, for when I got out. That's so a cool couple, job. Yeah. Yeah. He said, I was like, go find some place with good food. Go find a place with a good, uh, I said, I was like, go find a place with a, with good biscuits. Cause I'm a, I'm a biscuit fiend. Oh, I didn't get any biscuits. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like this, biscuits. There's this place, Willie's down there. It's like the fried chicken place that's everywhere. Um, their biscuits are like, I don't know how the hell they do it, but they're filled with like this gooey, like honey butter. And what? it was possibly like a top 10 all time thing I've I mean, ever eaten. Honey, honey and butter is my favorite biscuit yeah. topping. I mean, I like a lot of different biscuit toppings. So imagine if you had a biscuit in like Twinkies. That's Heather's nickname for me. Biscuit? Honey butter. Honey butter. Honey butter. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine you had a biscuit, mm-hmm. but um, instead of like, it's a Twinkie, but instead of like the Twinkie filling, it's yeah. honey butter inside the biscuit. I'm, I'm sold. Yeah. We we'll got to go back, back now. We'll yeah. have to go back down next time there's another movie yeah. and uh, eat biscuits, but... <laughs> All you kids. I'm yeah. Good. Yeah. Chris is like, I'm never going I, to that fucking place ever yeah. again. Told Gev the same thing. This is the only thing that would get me back there. Exactly. Because right, you used to work down there, right? I was down there for five, six years. No. Yeah. No. Yuck. No, I'm all set with that. I did I did not enjoy the humidity. Like, we were lucky that we actually had we relatively really cool yeah. days. The yeah. one hottest day was actually when I think we were indoors all day. And it was only after the storm blew through. Yeah. If you were two oh, months later, yeah. forget it. You just don't go outside. Yeah, it's yeah. It's miserable. No, I got lucky. I got, um, I think the worst humidity day I had as far as the app, my phone was like 56. Mm-hmm. But um, it was like, you know, when we went out and did stuff, it was a nice cool breeze. And we had yeah, a couple one seven five-ish yeah. days. Yeah. Yeah. The weather was nice. Yeah. Nice breeze. Yeah. Cause um, I mean, I just, I just have like a good, I was worried about it too. Cause I, I didn't want to like die and be at 80 degrees and stuff like that, but I missed it all. <laughs> Cause you were wearing vinyl. Yeah. We did yes. have, <laughs> so, uh, our one shot day was 15 hours long, all all indoors in a particular location, and mm-hmm. for the most part, AC and everything. So it was actually yeah, not no, uncomfortable. It was, it was comfortable. But a lightning storm blew through and actually knocked out the AC for a little bit. It and so- a little stuffy Yeah, so it got stuffy a little a bit. bit. Yeah. yeah. But, but, uh, but yeah, overall- It actually became uh, more good. bearable to go outside and try to get a yeah. little breeze than- 
yeah. stay inside. And so obviously being a Kevin Smith fan, you know, that was a reason for, for me to push to figure out how to try to make it down there, even though I didn't have the the type of invite that you gentlemen did. But but also a big piece of it and one of the reasons that that my wife, you know, was supportive in me doing it, even though we're in the midst of all this other crap, is I've wanted I've been into movie production, television production, you know, since as long as I can remember. I've wanted to be on a set for 40 plus years. And so even if I don't end up in the movie, even if I hadn't been, you know, in front of the camera a few times or whatever, just watching, you know, seeing the production, seeing all the different jobs See, and everything was fantastic. That was my thing. And we talked about this before going down. I never wanted to go down and be on camera. Yeah. yeah. This was just a means to an end. Yeah. The idea was to go down for a set visit and, and hang actually out. see how the sausage but, was made. But yeah. the Chris the, Davis is so beautiful that the camera well, just finds it. You know, it's yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, this is just when every but, side's your no, good the, side. Yeah. The the afternoon was mainly spent. I wasn't up in the extra room. I didn't right. bother because I just stayed down at the yeah. production so I could watch the monitors. Yeah, yeah, and see how it was going as you, they were. Yeah, running, yeah, up loading yeah, the video was, and yeah, logging everything. Yeah, that just, was just that was them, way more yeah. interesting to me than. The light show that was going on. Oh yeah, no, there were some cool times where you know. So I'm um, without giving too much away. There's there's some times where you know they're setting some stuff up, and I'm one of the people that happens to be on set while they're setting up some shots and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I can see all like you know Jordan's monitors and stuff like that, and mm -hmm. like the way they have to set stuff and light it, and like and then the the marking tape on the floor to stand, like just stuff you don't see when you're watching. Is I mean, I've been seeing a million movies. It all but. it's all the stuff that makes it so that you think you're watching a continuous set of events that really happened, yeah. right? right. Um, yeah. That it it's so cool. It is really neat, and it was like you know some people talked about it online too. It was interesting seeing Kevin in like work mode. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was way better seeing him in that element. Yeah. Because yeah. every time you see Kevin, he's like you know he's holly jolly Kevin. Uh, yeah. This is the actual career Kevin. The ten years that you've watched since. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where a lot of these people have kind of become fans of his. Yeah. That's Act Two. Yeah. This is what he started out doing. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And like we all, you know, there were there. I mean, there are some people that are. Kevin people because of comic book men or just the Smodcast stuff. Mm -hmm. we all There's just a have, lot of them. There's a lot of them. A lot of them. You know, we'll, I'll, we had that discussion at dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like I'll be like some, you know, there's some people in the Facebook group. I've never seen Corks too. I'm like, get the fuck out of the Facebook group there. But we, you know, we all happen to go back no. to. Everybody's welcome, but it's oh, interesting. No, the different, the different it perspectives is, yeah. that everybody brings in. Yeah. yeah. We're, you know, we all. Yeah. Leave. And they all have their own version of Kevin that's in their head. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's their fans of different Kevins. Yeah. 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 Like I said, we've had Golden Age, Silver Age, New 52, and now we're on Rebirth, Kevin. <laughs> Rebirth. Actually, that's, that sounds kind of accurate. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, nah, I think it's one Kevin, just different ways to earn. That, He's that, playing yeah. to the audience yeah, differently. that makes sense. In each spot. He's very good, and this is something you saw on, just mm -hmm. going between yeah. just the actors that people work for him or people yep. that would, it's, yeah. he knows how to play each crowd. Yeah. And bless his heart for it, because- yeah, it's it worked yeah, out. It's a skill. Okay. But same with you. Oh, like, it's most definitely a skill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not easy. Like same thing. Like I, you know, I was always wanting to do something like Chris say, would just go down and just set visit and just mm -hmm. see how stuff was done. You know, you're talking about, yeah. you know, I, cause I was like, you know, I'm one of those, I watched like the back to the, back the scene, uh, back behind the scene sure. documentary. That's why like I was that, into laser discs and, and exactly. you know, fought the transition to DVDs and then bought into DVDs. It's all mm -hmm. that behind the scenes. It's stuff. all the content. Yeah. So, yeah. and then, you know, I didn't, you know, Chris has always been doing the Kevin thing for way longer. Mm -hmm. So he's, you know, he's, he's met him more times. You know, this he's, advanced age. Well, yeah. Well, no, I don't want to say, but it's, it's, it's like a different level. So <laughs> hey. like he, so he had, <laughs> don't hate on our love. Okay. Yeah. Cause he was just cause, settle yeah. down. Well, cause that's what he was going down to do. He, you know, I'm not, yeah. you know, not everyone gets to do that. So when I saw the extra, the, the, the extra thing, I was like, yeah, hey, you know what? I'll give it a shot. And then it didn't happen. And then, and then it did. And then it did. And then Kevin's like, no, you're coming. I'm like, so I, same thing. I told my wife, I was like, look, I was like, I know you're kind of fighting me on it. Cause you want to spend the money, but it's like, I, it wasn't that much money in the grand scheme of things, but you know, and I, I work a lot, so it was no big deal. But then I was able to be like, I got invited down by, you know, he said I can come. He said I have to go. I'm like, she's like, okay. Yeah, let's go. I think that's a valid excuse. Exactly. So, well, so, so I did, you know, mention it earlier. I, I don't want to skip the fact that I actually got hurt. Oh, yes. And I was scared by that for a number of different reasons. One of the primary ones, and I know it was the first thing in Chris's You're mind. You're 62. That's the, no, I'm not 62. Um, <laughs> one of the first things Chris said to me, amongst the various shit 
shit bullets that he threw at me was well, like your wife's bullets. never going to let you hang out with me yeah. or go to a Kevin Smith event Jen is again. never yeah. going to let you hang out with so, me again. Those of you that have been listening to the Fan Men podcast since the beginning know we we came together. You know, DJ kind of conjured us as a podcast group out of the Vulgarthon trip last August, mm-hmm. in which I had my back injury. <laughs> ended up in traction. Ended up, <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, so I came home broken as far as my wife is concerned. I just return you broken every time. Yeah. So, so you know, towards the end of our long 15 hour shoot, we were shooting, we were involved in some action scenes. We were not supposed to be actually doing anything other than moving rapidly and chaotically. The but only it is, direction they gave you, yeah, don't get hurt. Don't get hurt. Right. And then Chris actually added as like the, you know, 14th Could AD, he said, don't hit Nate. Can uh, I put that on my IMDb? Yeah. 14th you're the 14th AD. AD. Yeah. I, I, I will validate that. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so, uh, uh, this fantastic guy, fantastic artist, uh, Nate Gonzalez, dark Nate returns on Twitter. Um, I uh, got a chance to meet and hang out with him a bunch. Really, really fun guy. He was in a position in this scene where we were supposed to be running by the camera, you know, depicting chaos around some action going on. And Chris said, before I ran in front of the camera, just don't hit Nate. And so, of course. Completely busting I balls. Completely. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what I did. I ran headlong into Nate took a really bad fall on a concrete floor, made enough noise that uh, numerous production folks were like, oh, that's bad. Are you okay? <laughs> Never good when you hear uh, the yeah, director so, groaning. Yeah. So I actually, you know, I threw a thumbs up and there was enough adrenaline going on that I actually felt like it was probably okay. Uh, not long after I was, you know, we did another take, but I... I was honestly worried that I had fractured my hip, which is the the one that has the nerve damage from the back injury. So I thought I might have had a hairline fracture, just the way it felt. I also thought I might have some internal injuries because of the way some other things felt in that area after the impact. Um, And so I was trying to figure out, you know, at what point... Did I need to get checked out? Well, I don't, I'm not going to have another day like this. And so I just kept going through it. And, uh, ultimately I, it's just a bruise and, and I'm just old and, you know, fragile, but, uh, but it was kind of awesome still. It was probably the highlight. Yeah. It does. Looking up from the, from the concrete floor at the, so I'm looking up at the camera. Was everything in slow uh, motion? Was it like, no, it happened. No, no, no. This was uh, so fast. This was the Kennedy film back into the left. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping there's a chance, right? We only shot three takes of this particular angle. He's so much slower in take yeah. three. So each of, nah, I was much more careful. So <laughs> chances are one of those three takes will make, you know, an edit. And so there's almost a guarantee that, you know, my fat self eclipses the, the scene as I run <laughs> so in front of the camera. We had two in our little group. Yeah. Little squad there that did their own stunts. Yeah. You got yeah. taken out and, and Jen got uh, taken Jen, out. And Jen Kaminsky out. went down a couple times on, on each knee, I think got knocked oh. down and yeah. Um, but, you know, but I, I just hope I get caught on camera. The only there benefit because, of being my size. Yeah. <laughs> I don't go down quite as. Yeah. 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 That's, that's not what he said. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, it depends on how much money there is involved. <laughs> that's right. What's being offered? That Uber driver. College is for experimentation, Sean. Um, <laughs> Anything goes before 25. There we go. <laughs> I still feel 25. You should tell that when you tell the story, you say, oh, you should elaborate. Say it was big. You know, remember Big Lebowski when he's like, yeah. flo- <laughs> no. you remember when I went down on the set of Jay and Silent Bob? It's <laughs> <laughs> the only way you got into the movie. That's why he was a crew's favorite. <laughs> That's me, me too. No, <laughs> I apologize. Um, what was, um? so what was your, if you had, what was like your favorite favorite moment on, um, on set without giving away like the scene or whatever it was. Yeah. On, honestly, um, as usual, I can't pick one, but the, the seeing the weird interaction between the first AD and the second AD and Kevin and, uh, the director of fo- photography and all this stuff, the weird mix of precision, right? The, the blocking of scenes, them knowing exactly who's doing what. We saw a bunch of stunts being worked, some really big guys in interesting, funny costumes doing different things that I'll be excited to mm. see how it comes across. But but that weird mix of precision and blocking and focus pulling and camera moves combined with 
like particularly with the background extras, very, kind of very general direction. by the seat of your like, pants. Yeah. yeah it's, hey, all right, you guys act, you know, act whatever. chaotic, act whatever. And while you know you're not really reading on screen and so it's just motion and, and chaos, it was really it's, weird to see how much, like if we end up on screen, I'm going to be able to look. It is pure happens. Yeah. It's happenstance, but also I'll be able to look at myself and know I had no idea what the hell to do. Yeah. Right. We in fact got, got conflicting direction at different times. Right. One guy's like, oh, run. The other guy's like, don't move, cower down, you know? And, and so just the utter randomness. And yet I'm pretty sure the little bits we saw on camera, how it looked in real life versus what it looked like on, on yeah. the Yeah. When you picture frame film, that. Yeah. It was you know, the depth of field, the lighting, everything. It looked it was so good. Interesting to me how much he was making up on the fly. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. There's a script, but yeah, do this, do this. Yeah. Now I got that. Yeah. Seeing, no, seeing some, that. seeing some Take changes. We're running out of time on the set at the end of the day. And, and so him striking a yeah, couple lines a and bits, yeah. you know, him being the editor, I think is a big factor there. He's like, don't need it. Got it. Don't here. need it. Got, got it. it somewhere else. Good. Yeah, just don't not, do this. Don't use say it that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so really, it was it was all the production aspects, right? Yeah, that was cool. I think it for me it was just the group experience. Yeah, we had a very interesting spot being down there with that group of people. Yeah. So a lot of it was, and we were just kind of all thrown together. Nobody had gone through it before. Yeah. All had some kind of a connection. Yeah. To Kev, and we're just kind of thrown into a blender. Yeah. So all of us coming at it like, I think Will was very much like myself. Like, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. We'll go do some of the stuff and then, yeah. okay, where's the nearest shadow? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go hide back yeah. in the corner Will, somewhere. Will Wilkins, uh, one of the longtime audio and production genius you audio know, assistants on takes on care of all of Kevin's podcasts stuff. and stuff. He used to run uh, radio askew mm -hmm. and, and some of the, uh, you know, a lot of early podcast stuff. Um, but yeah, how about you? What was, what was your favorite? Yeah. I mean, bit? it's, it's tough. So the one real cool thing was how fast everything actually went. Mm -hmm. So there was a couple, scenes that I was around for that. What do we, it's like, go in, he watched it. Okay. Yep. That's good. One. I'm like, Oh, that's yeah. it. But then there was, yeah. an, then there's another times where it's like, so there's one scene that I was in towards the end of one day. We literally did it 17 times. I think mm -hmm. it was insane mm -hmm. how we had to keep doing it and doing it and doing it. Um, which was great for me. Cause I, I mean, yeah. it gets to where everyone else went home except for me and one other guy. <laughs> but so that was kind of interesting. Um, and he said, just like, you know, it was nice seeing everyone from online and stuff like that, which was always good. Yeah. Yeah, meeting meeting folks you hadn't met before was yeah. you know, but a number of them I felt like I knew, you know, from Twitter yeah, or, 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 or yeah. whatever. Yeah. I think Follow the only them, yeah. the only one that was down there so like, you know, you guys had like the big like the the we're down yeah, the we big invite group. group. Yep. The only person I think was down there with me was um um Jamie. Oh, Cat Ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cat Ears. Mm -hmm. She was there for us. Yeah, she was there for us. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, she stayed yeah. a long time. Yep. Um she I think she did like the full ten days or whatever. But I get to meet a bunch of people. She stayed after us. Yeah, that was good and stuff like that. But it was kind of because everyone else was, you know, I say everyone else was getting paid and all that stuff. And I'm just like, here's this guy. And they could never find my name. And like, oh no, I'm on the, I, Kevin told me to come. Yeah. Oh, you're on this other list that like, yeah. it's just me at the top. And then all you guys are on it for like later on in the week, which yeah. is kind of weird. But another fun part thing that was actually, I was done filming. Me and my buddy were going out to get dinner. So I went upstairs and I, you know, I just threw on, I think I had, actually, I think I had my fan man t-shirt on. I threw that mm -hmm. on. Threw on, you know, the suit coat, threw my hat, you know, because that's just kind of how I dress. Right. And I'm in the hall. I do. I just, I. <laughs> you dress as Kevin Smith as you yes. go out in public. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I do. I do. Um, but it was, you know, so um, Harley's coming down the hallway with the, uh, some of the other people from the movie. And she goes, she's like, dad, why are you down here? I thought we were going, oh, you're not my dad. So that's always fun. <laughs> I've done that to her twice, which is fun. So. She was actually the first person we saw down there. Oh yeah. Yeah. We saw As we were walking in the quarter, we ran right into her. <laughs> Yeah, she's yeah, she's cool. So, but yeah, just the whole experience was 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 kind of neat. My brother's pissing me because he he actually went to school for acting and stuff like that. He's like he never did anything with it. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go do this movie thing. Don't know why. <laughs> There's mm -hmm. yeah, you're looking for extras constantly. Yeah, actually, I got, uh, uh, one of the people who worked down there asked if I want to come down and work on NCIS. And I'm like, the no. Answer is, you didn't stick <laughs> yes. around for Bill and Ted. If you'll mm -hmm. if you'll pay if you'll fly me down and put me up, absolutely. Yeah, it doesn't cost me any money, possibly, yeah. but yeah. can I get punched by Scott Bakula? Yeah, be really good. Gotta make that sweet hundred and twenty five dollars a day. Seriously. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. I built like hundred twenty five dollars an hour at when I yeah. do side work. Some <laughs> of the some of the waiting. If if it weren't a movie that I've been dying to see for so it's many years crazy. and a crew and cast that I've been wanting to, you know, be around. See, that's why it I would have yeah. it, like, it was like, yeah. it was like, yeah. Hours. Yeah. It was like an Ethan Hawke movie about adoption or something like that. I'd be yeah. like, get me the fuck out of here. Yeah. Well, and because of the crew that we were down there with, 
mm-hmm. we did get to just hang by the monitors. Yeah. Because yep. yeah. you were with them. They didn't, not back in the room, go hang yeah. out. You, yeah. you had a little more access to yep. some of the stuff. Yeah. That, I wasn't fully no. crowd. I mean, we stayed in the extras room, um, but every night I'm back, I'm just, you know, we had to go in the hallway and sit in the furniture with that. But I mean, I had my Switch. Th- thank you, Nintendo of America. <laughs> thank God for my Nintendo. It, it did help quite a lot of time. So yeah, we didn't bring anything with us. No, I had, had, I had my phone yeah. and a battery. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we the way it works for us is battery. we had um sometimes you know we we have to check oh, it's in smaller yeah that's why we brought yours <laughs> we check in for uh, for hair and makeup battery. and stuff like that in, in lunch <laughs> 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 uh, yeah but we check in for like hair and makeup and stuff and then we'd have to wait till Kevin got done doing yep. like his close set stuff and yep. then, but mm-hmm. then once once he got there and it was time to like start going with us it was there wasn't a lot of waiting it was pretty fast and furious just that initial wait but yep. like I said same thing it's like it's you know, it's kind of like that when you watch the Force Awakens behind the scenes stuff and Simon Pegg's in the big latex costume in the desert. He's oh, like, yeah. I would mm-hmm. burn for Star Wars. Yeah. I would burn for Kevin Smith, basically. <laughs> so it well, is what it is. It was definitely good. Yeah. So since we all got to New Orleans, Chris doesn't care because Chris has been there many yeah. times and he hates the place. So if you had to pick, you know, not movie stuff, just let's talk about the city. What were three of your top three favorite things you did down in New Orleans? Whether it was something you ate, something you drank. Getting on the plane to leave. Next one. <laughs> Wait your turn. Such a jaded jerk. We have a system here. Yeah. Yeah. There's an order. <laughs> There's an order things. Even Steven Gris can't yeah. screw it up. <laughs> yeah. It was we did it was it was fun seeing folks uh listen yeah. to you know lots of good feedback on the Steven Gris uh Shecky Don't Like It mm-hmm. episode. Oh it was, really? Yeah, yeah, people loved it. It was so fun to do. So uh yeah. we'll we'll figure out some more uh more guest spots and uh and stuff Definitely. in the future. But. Yeah, we're gonna I think we're gonna be able to get Steven on live and uh yeah, me and in person. Been, me and mm-hmm. him. Yeah, yeah we've been uh, work on some stuff. We have we have some some stuff written. So, yeah. but but I do. So I I've got one uh, honorable mention. Um, it's kind of Chris and his wife's fault. Uh, so we ended up having a free day. Uh, we were originally supposed to shoot for two days. The the final day of production ended up closed, and so we had a free day in New Orleans. And and we we do we have a breakfast sandwich. And then have we we went to Mother's for a sandwich, and then went to ice cream, or no? Oh, we had we coffee. Did, we did yeah, beignets. That's right. And then we so, went to ice cream. So we had we effectively <laughs> okay. had a oh, second about, breakfast yeah. of ice cream, Sacred and I wanted to now, try multiple set the flavors. Scene, yeah. Okay. Yeah. This, this little tiny cup <laughs> with giant, massive scoops well, of ice cream. Well, and I like, Sean decides to try the entire case. Well. No, so so, so I like eating in a cup versus a cone when I'm trying different flavors, though I love cones too. But I wanted to try multiple flavors, so I asked him how many different flavors I could have, thinking it was for a given size, yes. you know, oh, a dishful. Said how many? Right, so I, many you want. I wanted to try three, but he gave three giant ass scoops, so I actually didn't finish. I came close, but ice cream <laughs> for breakfast. Three quarters know. of the way through, he's looking, he's like, how are you finished? I'm like, I had like a scoop and a half for Christ's yeah, sake. So that, you had this yeah. mountain of ice cream. So, and that yeah, wasn't, shout out that Kilwins. wasn't actually the first, yeah. Kil, Kil, Kilwins was the name Kilwins, of the place. Kilwins. Some yeah. place that um, Heather and I had gone to yeah. 20 something years ago. They're all over down south. Yeah. It yeah. was, it was fantastic. What so were the flavors though? Um, let me see. Leave me hanging here. I had, uh, marshmallow s'mores mm-hmm. and chocolate peanut butter, which has been a favorite since I was a kid yeah, at, just, at Baskin good. Robbins. Yeah. I love how the ribboned peanut butter oh, kind of yes. gets, you know, mm-hmm. Thick and yeah, think about what the hell I had. and then the third one was uh rum raisin, and ooh, that was that was fantastic. Rum raisin is a good flavor, yeah. So that so breakfast ice cream, you went beignets and excess two hours later went first, yeah. Yep, if that, yep, God bless. That's my honorable mention. I don't know if I really have an honorable mention, you don't have um, to have one. No, not really. I'd completely forgotten about the eating as much junk food as possible before noontime as <laughs> we possibly could. I could have done more. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going to pass on the honorable mention. All right. All right. Um, let's see. Honorable mention. I'm going to go with, probably I'll go with the, the biscuit from Willie's. The, just the, yeah. the Willie's. I'm a, I'm a big Honey fried chicken butter, guy. butter, Twinkie biscuit. Seriously. I'm a big fried chicken guy anyway. And um, so we went to Willie's one day and actually I had this, uh, there was a kid down there. I don't know if you guys met him. The kid, the kid that was from Britain. Yeah, he was there. Right? Yeah. He was still there because- Kev was talking I didn't to him during the Q&A. Him. Yeah, yeah, I didn't he actually was, meet him. Yeah, but he, was yeah he was um down there. He uh, Jay invited him to come down because they play fucking Fortnite together on Twitch or something like that. Yep. And I felt bad because he's used to doing some stuff like that in England where you show up and they have 
you know, all your accommodations all set and they pay in cash every day. So he didn't know what to expect. He showed up and he didn't have anything ready to go. So he was kind of like screwed. Mm -hmm. So I let him crash in the hotel on the floor one night and stuff like that. And I took him out for breakfast the next day. So he didn't have any cash on him and stuff. And we went to the Willie's place and got fried chicken biscuits. That was cool. And we went and got drinks and stuff like that too. And Willie's also sells a cocktail called the cock. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah it's a big, it's a big yeah. rooster that. cup. Yeah. It's the stiffest drink on, mm -hmm. on Bourbon Street. So I bought him one of those. And I was like, you have to put a picture on Facebook now and tell your friends. I went to America and sucked on my first cock. And he did. That's, so that's how he earned uh, his breakfast that day. That's, that's disturbing. But but it was great. Yeah. It was a, it was a, that was a good morning. But yeah, so like I said, that, the, the, the food down there was top notch. So I'll go honorable mention. I'll go uh, Willie's. All right. Well, that that's not such a bad segue to my formal number three. I already mentioned the Beignets Cafe du Monde. Um, only did it twice. I think the first night we were there. Uh, Took you to OG first. Yeah, about yeah. like 10, 30, 11 at night, something like mm -hmm. that. You know, still places packed. Um, you know, three fried dough things covered in powdered sugar, which is then covered in powdered sugar, which then has more powdered sugar on top of it. Mm. Um, but you know, just, I mean, right up, right up my alley, uh, that experience. And I actually really liked the, uh, their coffee has chicory in it. So it's, it's, oh, a, yeah. you know, it's not a taste everybody loves, but a uh, little iced, uh, iced cafe au lait with no sugar in it. Uh, it tastes really, really good. So beignets. Never went to beignets, got beignets at any other place other than Cafe Du Monde and a couple different locations. Yeah, we never made it back to Cafe yeah. Beignet. Probably my favorite picture that I brought home from there, I think you guys saw it, <laughs> yeah. is uh, after finishing the beignets, I literally buried my bearded face in powdered mm. sugar and then took a picture of it for my family and it was- You're still tasting that in the beard? Oh, yes. You call it Scarface Sean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beignets, number three. Okay. Number three for me is going to just be walking the French Quarter. Yeah. Just, we wandered miles and miles just looking at architecture and going to little shops and mm -hmm. just taking in some of the culture that was down there. Mm -hmm. um, I know you in particular, you were fascinated by- I love- I mean, I'd it. seen some of it before, but I like- I love the French Quarter during the day. Yeah. Yeah. That's because I'm over 25. I could have no use for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anytime after dusk. Yeah. But, or any other party. No, but the, yeah. the balconies, the the colors, the, you know, stuff. Going into the little voodoo Centuries stores old, Bourbon right? Street yeah. and things like that. Those yeah. Little shops that you get to check all that out. So yeah. I'm just going to say the whole French Quarter experience and the culture. That works. It's cool. Uh, my number three, I'm going to go, um, it's food related. So when you guys went there too, the little restaurant Mother's on yeah. the corner near the hotel. So I knew you guys had a soggy bread issue with your sandwiches, but yep. I didn't get a sandwich. I got, I got the the biscuit with like the jus and the roast beef chips on it. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing. And then I got, um, I'm a big like uh, smoked sausage, homemade like crazy sausage fan. Mm -hmm. And they make a, do like a homemade like hot wing kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And it was just, mm -hmm. I mean, I, it was stellar. It was amazing. So, and I like little hole in the old dive places like that too, mm -hmm. with food. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go mother's. Yeah, that Number was, three. that was, uh, we did, we had, uh, I had the Ralph. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, Chris was not a fan of, he doesn't, he's a little particularly. Playful with juice and yeah, soggy bread. Yeah. <laughs> the meat was good. You yeah. Just, the meat was, the, the, the trick meat was, was to pick up the first half of the sandwich immediately upon delivery. So it wasn't soaking that long. Yeah. You know, so you got to eat fast. The trick then, is to read the menu. So you realize that you're going to get a plate of juice. Yeah. So I saw that coming, not as much as they, they gave it. And then I actually canted the plate. I put like a fork under weather end and pulled the sandwich up so that the juice oh, okay. wasn't primarily, it still was pretty soggy and I don't like to get messy. So it, that was a negative, but yeah. it tasted That's awesome. why I got a biscuit because yeah. I ate with yeah. a fork. So you guys want ice cream? Sure. The girls uh, are back. Yeah. What do you want? One scoop of. Uh, chocolate peanut butter if they got it. I'll do chocolate covered cherry again if they have it. Otherwise, let Jen pick something for me. Isn't this the second time we've interrupted the podcast for ice it cream? I, I'm. What did you want, uh, DJ? Uh, chocolate covered cherry if they have it. We should totally leave this in. It's fucking boring dead air. Hell yeah. yeah. But it's uh, ice, ice, cream. Cream. ice cream. It's topical. Yeah. We just right? talked about Sean eating seven pounds of fucking- I not see any chocolate covered Oh, you've oh, actually she said got you a the, Oh, she said oh hold on. Yes. Vanilla bourbon poached peach. Poached peach? Poached peach. That's that. That's what I want. Sean wants poached yeah. peach. I don't know what Ruthless is. Uh, maybe it's like Baby Ruth without Baby Ruth. Then why not call it something else? Why bring Baby Ruth into it? It doesn't say Baby Ruth. It just said Ruth. I want- uh, Ruthless. I'll take pineapple upside down cake, please. Okay. <gasps> I want to 
Oh, <laughs> well, you just, I, I want you, you want pe- pineapple upside down cake. I I want peach and pineapple upside down cake. Oh fuck you all! <laughs> <laughs> I hate you both so much. <laughs> I I mean I I have a, a willpower problem. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that with all sincerity. I hate you both. Yeah. Well, so, so after our top three, number threes and an ice cream break, we can move on to, I got to wait for Chris to actually submit the order, which probably includes. I haven't picked my own yet. Oh, you got to pick your own. I did. uh, (laughs) So detective 1000 came out this Mm. week. I did order. I, I got all the standard variants which is probably gonna be one of the last times I do that many variants I didn't get of them anything. All. I got I got, I got the Michael Cho. I ended up ordering more when I was in with Johnny yesterday. Sure, oh, yeah. We did the uh, Torpedo Comics one. We just combined and this four exclusive Jim Lee covers. Oh yeah. So it's like your old school Catwoman with Batman. There's a Batman and Hush, but the Harley. Uh, yeah. Harley, but the Hush I version that, of her. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's one of Batman and Bane, and then Batman and the Joker on the other one. Yeah. And we didn't do the sketch variant. I only got a couple. Like non standard variants. I got the Mike Mayhew variant from the comic mint. It's uh, the whole Rogues Gallery. It's just I a did nice the Hughes piece. Ones and then from, I got the Ada. I got those. No, from, I didn't get the Hughes ones. What was the one that looked like kind of like Alex Ross, but it had like all the villains pulling them down? I think that's it, the Mike Mayhew one. Yeah, I got that. it tricks your eye. Yeah. It looks like that looks like one where he's choking the Joker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then I did order the Alex Ross set, which <laughs> Did you sell them yet? No, but we really I probably should. will. Yeah, the, I'm yeah. probably throwing them up on eBay. Yeah. yeah, you could probably get through. Uh, I think, so I just I just got the the homage to Detective whatever with the tra- yeah. trade dress. Um, that book is going for, it's up to like almost 125 bucks a copy right yeah. now. It's insane. Yeah, There's some that are posted up there over three. Yeah. Yeah. But nobody's buying. You can get, you can get. They're selling in the hundreds. You can sell your set for three probably. Yeah, I don't know if I want to. We'll see. I probably should. They are gorgeous. Have you ordered okay. your ice cream? Yeah, the ice cream is done. Okay. All right. So. Beep. No, we're not. We're leaving that shit in, man. That's oh. ice cream and, okay, and so gluttony okay, and, the beat. and okay. comics. So where are we at now? Number. So we're at number two, right? <laughs> well, you're gonna pick a number two, or you're just gonna leave us. So hanging? I got a number two. Okay, then I'm gonna take a number away. two right on you. Go ahead. Um. So probably so, throw out your fucking back again. <laughs> <laughs> so, so while this is not strictly a New Orleans experience, I interpreted the top three as really my experience is yeah, down yeah. there, and mm-hmm. so. And so the day we were flying out, Wednesday, um, the 27th, DJ looks like he's about to die. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Not dying. Um, before we went to the airport, we were going to get some lunch. Before we got lunch, we wanted to get coffee. The nearest coffee to our hotels was a Starbucks inside a Harris Casino. So we went in, grabbed, uh, grabbed Starbucks, sat there drinking coffee for a bit, talking, hanging out. And... It was probably my idea, but we walked through the slots, we threw, threw a couple 20s into a Game of Thrones big video slot that was impenetrable, hard to understand, and we both lost all <laughs> yeah, our money. no idea what the hell we were and doing. And so we went looking for a traditional, you know, actual physical reels turning slot, slot machine. Chris found one. I came over and sat down next to him, and we both put in 20s, and pretty quickly, Chris was up to $80. So $80 even. So he decided to cash out and I was pretty happy Done. having witnessed that. And so I decided to keep spinning until my 20 was gone. This machine only maxed out at 50 cents a spin, which is a nice way to play a 20. Um, and 20 seconds after Chris got $80, I won $750, which- it's literally almost back to back spins. Yeah, it was yeah. crazy. And, and I was speechless. I just about collapsed on Chris because I was just- it after being he just likes doing it yeah i just like just like touching touching the chris davis but you know with all the the stress with money i almost didn't go down there because of money um to actually come home that wasn't gonna be allowed well but nevertheless i had actually made that decision until chris rescued me so so to to actually come home positive financially was, that was a big score. Yeah, it it, it, it literally felt a couple hours so before nice. we flew. Yeah, out. yeah, yeah. It was a big, big relief. Honestly, kind of put a bow on the whole weekend. Yeah, I'd already had a good time, and now I had some financial relief on top of it. So that's that was definitely pretty awesome. Very cool. Um, my number two. I'm actually going to go the last full day we were there, just wandering the French oh, Quarter with yeah. the Mod Squad. Yeah, 
an afternoon of day drinking, hanging out in the <laughs> courtyard at Patty O'Brien's and yeah. just the shared experience with the group. Mm-hmm. Um, it's very rare at this point that you just get a work day where you have zero cares. You're not checking in at all. You're not yep. getting an email, nothing. You yep. can just truly just totally be present and we enjoy yourself. We started and ended and in the same place. So you don't have to carry your crap. You don't have to go anywhere. There's nothing. Yeah. yeah. You literally just had to bring yourself and go enjoy for the afternoon. Mm-hmm. And that was a lot of fun. It was very relaxed. I haven't had one of those days in as long as I can possibly remember. And we probably wouldn't have if we had known a few days earlier or a week earlier that we were only getting the one day of filming, right? Why would we have stayed down for another full day? Yeah. We yeah. probably wouldn't have. No, you would have found a way to fly home. Yeah. Tuesday, yeah. and just change the flight. And yeah. So the hotel it, was, and... it was a gift. Yeah. I'm super, no, it was. I'm super it was surprised a... you guys didn't just bow out the second you guys were done. He didn't find a flight to go. And <laughs> well, the, yeah, uh, it was, it was the day just to hang out with them. That's the main reason I stayed. That's, oh yeah. Was to have done. that. There was also the fact, day. I mean, it wasn't a major Because Chelsea factor. did tell me yeah. about a week before. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I yeah. knew that it. Yeah, we knew. They already had it scheduled with what they were going to be doing on that closed set day and who was coming down. Yeah. So she hit me up. There, there was still a chance also that, right, there was still another day of production. We were down there. I'm with the Chris Davis, who sometimes magic happens to. So, you know, so the thought that maybe we'd end up seeing some production or something like that, we didn't try, but it still was another reason to, hey, it was still going on. You never know. I mean, we could have wandered by set, but Sean went to bed early that night. It's true. I did. I think they I They were was, all back behind the hotel that night. Yeah. I think I was in bed by 10. Oh, easily. Every night. While in New Orleans. Which for you, that's like an all-nighter. Hey, fuck you. But yes. Yeah, because- <laughs> through, through your own admission, you don't stay up late. It was probably like 9.30 that I wandered by- Yeah. yeah sat in the I holding room and said hi to a couple yep. of people. Yeah. So, it was yep. early. Yep. That's a good one. Nice. Number two, uh, My number two, I'm going to do the whole Cafe Dumont beignet experience. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I've had beignets at Disneyland, which are not beignets- their fried dough puffs like we have up here. Which, hey. That's, they're so, yeah, they're so delicious dough. and they're shaped like Mickey donut. Mouse. Fried it's a donut. It's a donut. It's a, pizza, man. It's a Mickey Mouse Bad donut. Pizza, exactly. No, yeah, exactly. You can't like, really improperly fry a piece of dough, but um, there's this movie I love with John Favreau in it called Chef. Yeah. John Favreau. Yeah. I yep. fucking yeah. love that movie. Mm. And there's a scene where he takes his kid down to Cafe Dumont. That's the first time I ever heard of the place. I didn't know. Yeah, they're, on Bur- they're in New Orleans at one scene. He takes his kid to Cafe Dumont and get beignets and I saw him and I'm like, fuck, I want one of those. So I got mm-hmm. to go to that Cafe Dumont and have that beignet. So nice. And um, they really were just, they were stellar. Mm-hmm. They were so good. Not that expensive either. No, it was right? like 2 75 for three of yeah. them. It was like yeah. 15 bucks for everything we ordered. Yeah. Yeah, same here. So yeah, because yeah, mm-hmm. I went down to my buddy Dan, so I bought the beignets and the coffee, and I think it came to like $11 or whatever mm-hmm. it was. And yep. Mm. Super cheap, super good. He, and he, you know, he, he t- he's one of those guys, he's like in real good physical shape. Like he used to fight and do jujitsu and stuff, and he's in real mm-hmm. good shape. But the kid is a sucker for sugar, man. Mm. So when he's like, hey, want this deep fried thing? I'm like, yeah, it's like they cover it in sugar. He's like, yeah, let me try it. And even he agrees, like, this is like the best fucking thing I've ever eaten in my life. So that was just cool. So being able to, you know, check that box, as Chris likes to say, um, it was it was nice. And now I, I know when I go to Disneyland, I don't need to wait in line for Mickey beignets because they're not beignets. Don't no, wait in that line. There's I bought, no I, need. I know. I bought like three boxes of mix and brought them home. I'm going to try to make them at the house and see how Yeah, I'll be out, interested so. to hear how, you know, do they compare? Because I would imagine it's less about the mix than about the- The, f- the private like oil brine, brine and yeah. stuff. It's kind of yeah. like buying bagels in New York. Yeah. It's yeah. different. Yeah. Just, it's you not, can yeah, try exactly. to make them the same, but it's different. No, no. It's like the water they have probably. We yeah. even saw like, I went to a couple different ones. The one that they have inside like the outlet mall. Yeah. We went to that one yeah, yeah. too. Okay. It's good, but yeah. it's just a tick better at the OG one. It's probably because, yeah. you know, older fryers and stuff like well, that. And, and just the experience overall. But I, I like the mall the one. And, right? Yeah. The mall one was a little bit easier to get into. We were lazy. Yeah. We didn't want to make the walk. Yeah. yeah. See, the mall one for me was packed too, because there was like a cardiology conference going on that day. Yeah. There was still people there. It was a shit show, but yeah. We timed it right. The, the line oh, wait, was crazy right there, after. Do we go there once or twice? We only went there once. Yeah. Then the last one you had was when we were in, what, Jackson Square, whatever the park was. Oh, that's Some right. Some of the guys got them We go. did have them three yeah. times. Yeah. You, I had, got, a, you yeah, had them three I times. I think it was Stoner gave me one. Yeah. You can't, you yeah. can't do them to go. You have to, as soon as they hit, your, as soon as they hit, the, hit the plate, you got to start inhaling them because they're just one of those things that's way better hot. Yeah. But don't inhale too much because the powder... Sugar I'm can be dangerous. Yeah. Coming from the king of coughing, I did choke off the powdered <laughs> king sugar. King of coughing. Yes. Yes, I can imagine that. Yeah. So number two is uh, beignets. Very nice. So my number one kind of overlaps with some of what we were talking about before and and Chris's number two, just the, the experience of getting to meet and hang with, you know, yeah. the, the SMOD squad and the additional f- folks, um, you know, uh, 
uh, James and Marin, Big Daddy, Jimmy V, um, Evie, Jen Kaminsky. Quite uh, possibly the nicest group of people. Yeah. Will Wilkins, Jamie, Cat Ears. Um, it, it just, you know, and, and last but not least, uh, Brian Stoner, you know, we, we've been kind of chatting with him in different, yeah. different ways on Twitter for, for a while, you know, since, since he was, uh, you know, having so much fun with Kevin and the weight loss and everything, but just in, in Chris and I had, had some extra time, just the three of us hanging out and eating and That's drinking and talking. Yeah. yeah. And just everybody was so freaking nice, different from different places. And it was interesting in that kind of environment. There was no, no competition. No, everybody was there for the shared experience. And we were there just was hanging no, out. Yeah. No pressure. Yeah. There was, yeah. there was none of that. Yeah. It, I, I just had, I had a great time. I'd wanted to meet Will Wilkins for, for a while because mm-hmm. I'm an audio audio guy and and i think it's possible i've been tweeting him for for 10 years at this point i mean it's been a long ass time um so meeting him was great um but just hanging with everybody was a good time i definitely now it's an additional motivator to you know future events or future visits knowing that there's people in some well, additional some like places tissue, right? yeah like yeah discussing some of the shared experiences yeah. before you knew one e- yep. or each other yeah yeah so so you know the doing was, that in yeah. New Orleans was a big piece it of it. It was interesting. It was Cat ears and I, thing. Jamie and I had been in oh, each yeah. other's orbit. Oh yeah. At dozens yeah. of events. We met, she was the only one I'd met yeah. before at, at, uh, at, uh, Volgerthon. Yeah. And actually I think Jen had been there, but I didn't meet her then. And Jen you was guys, sitting by us. Yeah. 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 She was yeah. just to my right. Yeah. And she's, yeah. she's from, uh, uh, Philly, which I, I yeah. didn't mm-hmm. realize. Yep, so that's where my sister lives. So chances are we'll run into her again. Um, she and I were chatting back and forth. She's, she was, you know, psyched. She's like, you know, fan man's cool. You know, if you guys ever need any help or whatever. So I'm sure we're, you know, we'll definitely run into and talk to these folks again. Yeah. Yeah, And it's a group that I'll make sure that I connect with when I get out. I mean, I'll be in LA a couple of times for work and things like that. I'll make sure. Davis. I go to Los Angeles a lot. Oh, fuck you, Hawaii boy. (laughs) Oh, this is true. I have to go to Hawaii. I have to go to (laughs) Hawaii. They're going to pay me to sit in Hawaii. Uh, My wife can imagine you have to (laughs) shovel the snow or so. I have to go to Hawaii. No, all Mm -hmm. all barbs go in the direction of Chris. Oh, Davis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, I forgot. Yes, yes. Number one. I put in my dues down yeah. a lot. Louisiana. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, it was, uh, it was fantastic. I mean, you know, definitely the, the only thing that could have made it better, um, probably would have made it better is the three of us actually if having our schedule. Yeah. Awesome. But, but if we had come down, if we had come down when you were scheduled, we would have been together and had a different experience. I think. I think both experiences would have been different. Yeah. yeah. And, and I actually kind of like the fact that the scenes that you shot, the stuff you were involved in and ours we'll actually get a little more coverage in the film than if we were just in the same stuff. Correct. Yes. Yeah. yeah the, the, the scope of the fan men coverage in the movie is going to be way better because it, it, it's, yeah. it's, there will be totally you two jerking each yeah, other so, so there's adorable. Gonna, yeah, there, I, I don't get a lot of wins in life. I, yeah. I'm taking the, So, so there will be a fan men super cut of, of the scenes. As soon as there's yes. a digital this release the, of the movie, there will be 32 yeah. seconds of your life. Uh, I, Probably more like 17. Actually, let's, yeah, let's, uh, with commentary. We'll, oh, Hey there, Sean. Okay. Commentary over. <laughs> So, so I'm wondering if I do a super cut of, of Smod Squad folks, we might get to 30 might, seconds. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. I, I'm, I'm interested to see. No, there will a, be. Nate was in prime position oh, that's for true. a couple of those. Nate we could, of I mean, he's got, there's one whole scene there. Yeah. 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 I think, I think I left Nate out of my list of, of Smod Squatters. Yeah. He, How dare you, sir? I'm, I'm a horrible yeah. person. Like, we won't be able to do it in the theater, obviously, but when Nate, it comes he doesn't to- love you like I do. Yeah. No, I do. In fact, my favorite picture that I took down there was a picture of Brian and Nate. Um, just that picture on a, came out awesome. Yeah. The, just, you know, every, it was- great lighting, the smiles, it just captured I the joy up, on their faces, captured how I felt that whole day long. I got to put all the uh, flat Kev pictures together. Yes. And get them out yeah. to the squad. Uh, yeah. Though also, uh, I think it was Evie. Did you see the the sweeping video she shot of us sitting on Patty O'Brien's uh, around yeah, the table? Yeah, she took this cool she took like, a video. Kind of, yeah. And it kind of, yeah. So, yeah. Everybody, I love you. It was awesome to hang out with you guys. We won't be able to do it fun. in the theater, obviously, but whenever it comes like on digital, whatever, mm-hmm. we should get everyone like on like Skype call as we're oh, yeah. all watching the yeah. movie at the start of the time. Like, oh, there's me, you know, and just, yeah. just that'd be kind of fun to do. And maybe able to get everybody together in Red Bank. Yeah. Yeah. If we, hmm. if, if there's, if there's, there's going to be at least one or two premieres, probably LA, New gonna Jersey, be, and there's going to be Orleans. Louisiana. Yeah. They have to do one down there. Yeah. It's part of the, yeah, yeah. I, so I, we'll I we can we'll talk offline. I I have some details. Hopefully, it 
is oh, Chris. Chris knows because he, he's they have to actually <laughs> ask Chris. They have to ask Chris's permission first. Yeah, well, it's, so the weekend before, uh, we'll see when it actually releases. The uh, October twelfth is my thirty year high school reunion, so I will have to be in Cali. Uh, in Cali, Northern Cali. So yeah, thirty years. That's that's some bullshit. So sorry that fucking that half hour was my number one. Okay, so excellent. Chris, you're number one. There's still air left for us to speak. No, no, but but you know, I like to pretend that you guys matter when I'm listening to that's myself. Cool. No problem. <laughs> Appreciate the assist. <laughs> There's only one world where I get a the in front of my name, and it's this one, this table right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll let in as long as I could. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Uh, my number one is my one thing that I truly enjoy doing. It's Cafe Du Monde. Ah, that's, yep, that's my checkbox. Anytime yeah. that I go back, that's my one happy place down there. Um, How much of it is the simplicity, right? That's one of the that's smallest no, menus and this in is, the world. This yeah, is the one thing that I said to you. It's, it's essentially the five guys model before five guys. Yeah. We yeah. do burgers and fries that's and that's it. it. Yeah. We'll branch out into milkshakes and that's yeah, about as yeah. crazy as we get here. Yeah. But that's it. You don't need yeah. this whole Hot complex coffee, menu. iced coffee, beignets. Yeah. And that line went on forever. Hot cocoa maybe? I mean, it wasn't as bad when we went at night. Yeah. But it doesn't matter when you go. They're open 365. They close for like six hours on Christmas yeah. and maybe six hours on Easter. Yeah. And that's the extent of when they're closed. Mm. Yep. So, and that we were sitting there doing mental math. Oh, yeah. As to the millions that roll through that one location. Oh, yeah. Cash. It's oh yeah, a cash. Think about business. what the it's what the uh, your your cost percentage is on an order of beignets. Oh, it's it's probably it's nothing. Oh, normally, like you want you want to aim for thirty percent. Right. It's uh, less than thirty percent. Personally, I wonder how much organized crime is tied into that because if I want to launder money, that's, that's kind a, of that's that is the oh, kind yeah. of business ideal yeah. operation. Yeah. Do they take credit cards at no. the one in the mall? Yes. Do they? Yeah. I think they do because they're in a point of sale that's smaller and different. Yeah. The open one it's cash has cash, to be cash you carry. Know, just ridiculous. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. But the skim yeah. on that has to be insane. Obviously, yeah. your number one is excellent. That's chosen. my happy place down there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So my number one is, I mean, I didn't get to hang out with the, like, the smart guys like you guys did. I got to hang out with a bunch of like, really cool people and we had a blast on that stuff. So I didn't want to like exclude anyone out. So I didn't go with that. But number one, I'm just going St. Patrick's Day. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't go out drinking a lot. I don't go out yeah. and party a lot. It's not my kind of thing. Um, I never wanted to go to Mardi Gras because I hate fucking people and I've seen too many episodes of cops that just make it like a bunch of a hassle. You hate fucking people? What do you like fucking? Eh, sheep. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my credit rating. Shall I like to fuck my credit rating? That actually there sounds like something um, you're quite skilled at. That sounds really good. like a different conversation. But, um, just going down where it was like where it was like mini Mardi Gras and I had one of my, yeah. one of my best friends with me yeah. and um, you know, had a bunch of cool drinks. I got a vast collection of Blinky cups I brought home. I like Blinky cups. I do. Uh, we didn't get any of the fancy cups. I had one of the, you know, I had, um, so I'm a big fan of the show Bar Rescue. Yeah. And there's a sh- uh, oh. place on Bourbon Street, Spirits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What was the name yeah, of the sure. drink? The the Resurrection. Resurrection. Yeah. We, I meant to try one. We didn't. It was very good. Um, Plus it's so Blinky that was like, Blue. Yeah. It's Funky Blue. Um, so I had one of those. I had the, uh, one of the hand grenades, which is like a big mm-hmm. famous Louisiana drink. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I had, like I said, we had the cock. <laughs> Loved the cock. It's phenomenal. Um, it's the least surprising thing that's come out of this conversation. Yeah, you know. You know. <laughs> or out of his mouth. <laughs> um, but just, you know, and it was, it got a little crazy at night. <laughs> Meep, lay up. Um, it got a little crazy at night. Not as crazy as you see like in Mardi Gras, but there was, yeah. you know, you know, the beads and all that kind of stuff going on in the parade and stuff. And Was it easy to walk around? Like, we, we could... Cross the street. We could do whatever. Yeah, we could do whatever. Uh, and I liked that. Before dinner time, yeah. When it got dark, it got a little, little crazier. We ended up going down to some like the uh, more, like the more end of the Bourbon Street areas. Yeah. Um, and then ended up going down. I think it was what's the street that was not Canal the one. Uh, Decatur. Canal was Decatur. the main. Yeah. Ended down Decatur Street near the Cafe Du Monde, and mm-hmm. they had all the the Irish American Club was doing a parade with like motorcycles and stuff. Oh, and cool. So that was kind of cool and. Yeah, so it was, a, it, was, it was a neat thing. That was a very touristy kind of thing to do. So I'm yeah. going to go St. Paddy's Day. That was a cool experience. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, and I won't do that every year, so. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, say, say, yeah. Pa- I, I don't go to our, our town, oh, St. Yeah. Patrick's Day Parade. I don't go, no. fuck, sure, so I don't go no. to Boston for St. Patrick's Day. No, I wear green boxers and otherwise don't acknowledge the Except, Yeah, I'll throw on a green lantern hat and call it fucking happy St. Patrick's yeah, Day. That's good. Okay, so top threes. We had, Sean had beignets. 
uh, winning tons of money on a slot machine and hanging with the smod guys. Chris had French Quarter during the day. French Quarter with the smod guys <laughs> in beignets. <laughs> mm-hmm. Chris doesn't like Louisiana. He just likes the, the beignets. Give me beignets and get me the fuck out of Louisiana. Yeah. Um, I went with um, Mother's Cafe. Just all just the food experience in general. Was, I'm a big food experience guy. The food was good. Number two was Cafe Du Monde. Those delicious, delicious fried beignets. And number one is St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. It, overall, it's clear we had a good time. We did have a good time. It was a once in a lifetime kind of thing. Getting to go down there for a reason like that. So, yeah. I one one thing I like I'm realizing is clearly we had a good time. I'm re enjoying it by hearing your side of the experience, and then knowing that we're going to be able to come back and revisit these experiences once the movie comes out. It's gonna be cool. Is gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. Yeah. So most definitely, yeah. So once again, everyone hit us up on. Uh, Twitter at fmen 37 um, We're on Spotify now. We're on the Alexa speakers. Uh, we're on PodCoin. You can go to PodCoin and uh, actually get paid to listen to us. Yep. And then um, just a big thank you to uh, our Massachusetts brethren at the So Wizards podcast for helping mm-hmm. us out with some marketing and stuff thank like that. And getting us up thank on PodCoin. Much. I did just listen to the uh, Superhero Speak podcast. Yeah, yep, um, yep. Uh, The most recent Very episode. Cool. They, yep, stuff, they yeah. gave us a shout out and they had a lot yep. of interesting things they were talking through. Yeah, we're, nice. we're meeting all kinds of cool friends doing this. Yeah. So. So that's it, everyone. Thank you for listening, and uh, we'll see you next week. Later, kids. Adios.